What's up, guys? Swamp Fix It here. No, wait, no. No, no, I'm Swamp Ass. What's going on, everybody? So, if y'all saw my previous video about the HMF exhaust, so you can see that I don't have an exhaust at the moment, and that's because I removed my HMF because I'm going to be installing this RJWC Mud Edition exhaust that uh, my buddy over at Power Mods sent me. Uh, PowerMods.com. Make sure y'all check him out. Hey, Lou, appreciate it, buddy. Um, but here we go. So I don't know how to install the exhaust. It seems relatively straightforward. I'm not really sure what all that stuff's for, but we'll figure that out. Let's see if we can kind of dump some of that out for you so you can kind of get an idea of what you get in the package. All right, so it looks like we get some... Hold on a second, I should have done this before. Don't lose that. All right, looks like we get some heat shielding, the, uh, the clamp for the exhaust, and I believe this is to repack the exhaust. It helps separate it. And here is some copper paste that you put on. Let me see if I can focus on that. This copper paste goes on the inside of this, um, that clamp right there, according to the tube. And like I said, I don't know where exactly these has to go, so I gotta find that out, figure that out. And I guess these are just the, uh, the bolts that go into the uh, mounting part right here. Let's see if they fit through. Actually, oh yeah, that's perfect. That's beautiful. So that is what that's for. Is this a little bushing too? No, I don't know what, I don't know what the hell that is. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I, I don't know. Maybe, maybe I'm supposed to replace these bushings. Who knows? We'll figure that out. But anyway, so back to business. So like I said, I've already started, uh, started the process. I, I took out the existing exhaust. I don't know if you can see in here. It might be real nasty and everything, but I removed the, uh, I guess the header pipe, whatever you want to call it. And this top, the top, uh, this thing, I guess the exhaust manifold, uh, bolt, whatever you call it. I don't know. I don't know. I'm not a damn mechanic, okay? I just know how to turn wrenches, but I don't know what, I, what they turn. But anyways, that, uh, that, that little, uh, that little threaded piece of shit came out, so I had to put that back in. But it was a relatively straightforward process. It was really dirty and really nasty, but... Just try to make sure that's all cleaned up before you get in there so you don't get any mud or dirt or anything inside there. And uh, so yeah, I got the old exhaust out and I got the, the new exhaust parts out here. And one thing I did do is I transferred my O2 sensor from my stock exhaust over to the RJWC because it has a O2 bung. It has this little plug in there uh, from the factory. But I want to run my O2 because I don't have the tuner yet. And I have an O2 delete right here. That came with my HMF, and I don't know. It, it just, the only reason I wanted to do that was for the, uh, was so it wouldn't, so I could idle on the water. But it, 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 hey, would you knock that off, please? Go, go sit down. Hey, get out of here. Go, get out of here. Anyways, the only let me, let me help this guy out. Hold on a second. He's all right. Anyways, where was I? Yeah, the only reason I put the uh, O2 delete was so I could try to idle on the water, but that didn't do anything. So I'm gonna put the. Uh, the O2 sensor back in, and I'll get a programmer eventually, and or I'll get I'll get a, I'll get a programmer soon. And uh, but I want to have that in there because the O2 delete didn't do anything for me. But I'm gonna I'm gonna start getting this stuff in and routing it in. I'm not gonna do a I'm not gonna record myself putting it in, but I'll, I'll record the steps as I go. But so far, the uh, this is a little 13 millimeter, the little freaking filler cap, whatever. That was a 13 millimeter bolt. And the one for the O2 sensor was a 17 millimeter. And I took that off and I just cleaned it up with some uh, sensor cleaner. And now I'm going to, I think this is what I'm supposed to do. I don't know. I'm gonna put this, I'm gonna hang this part first. I'm gonna hang the actual exhaust on the on the brackets and then route the pipe in and stick it in the backside. It seems to make sense to me. We'll find out if that's wrong or right, but that's what we're gonna do. And um, typically you wanna replace the little gasket inside the exhaust, uh, I guess the exhaust manifold whatever the hell you call it um but i just had my exhaust replaced like i said so i'm not gonna worry about that but here we go i will be back in a few seconds i guess and just like that we're done we got the uh, got the exhaust all installed no i'm kidding i just temporarily hang, hung it right there into the uh into where it's supposed to go but uh, like i said i'm gonna i put the two bolts in there and the nuts they are lock nuts put those on there just to hold it in place and now i'm gonna get the pipe and route it through and try to get that thing to stay. We'll see what happens. But yeah, it looks good though. I like it. Apparently it's gonna, once the heat gets to it, it's gonna be a completely different color and look not as nice. So I'm going to appreciate this and admire it while I can, while it's still shiny. So, 
don't I really don't want to uh, I really don't want to get it to just get it to discolor but it's gonna happen and it's gonna get stained brown because that's just what I do that's just what I everything on this bike is either rusted up or freaking scratched up or stained so sorry buddy you're not gonna be shiny forever just like you you front diff you're not gonna be shiny forever you enjoy it and why do these damn output shaft seals keep on leaking what the hell I don't I, I can't I can't I don't know maybe it's because I don't wash it very well whatever anyways I'm going to try to route this thing in here and I'll let y'all know what happens all right all right and for real this time we got it all buttoned up got the two exhaust manifold studs tightened up I don't know if you can see that at all that's all in there nice nice and secure we got our clearance around everything that happened for my last exhaust thanks solitude my plastics are all chintzy and messed up as you can see they're just barely hanging on so but uh here let's see there we go we got the o2 sensor right there we got the clamp on there with the copper paste we got the uh, mounting bracket all tightened up and it looks good it looks nice we'll be ready for our first boot in a second i'm just gonna plug in the o2 sensor i got to i guess i can try to do it on camera pull off this uh well let's see all right so here's the bear with me for a moment there's the uh, o2 sensor just a couple resistors jumped over i guess to send a constant reading but i'm gonna give this a quick little cleanup real quick and then plug in the o2 sensor so right back all right we got the exhaust on i've already done one boot we're gonna do one more on the phone for the gram see what it sounds like oh let me get you over here 